Here's a quick little barrel ceiling piston valve cannon that I made up from a bunch of scrap fittings and other stuff that was lying around the machine shop. As you can see, the air reservoir is a little disposable propane cylinder. And I made the body of my piston valve from a three-quarter inch uh, cast iron T that was lying around. I however made uh, aluminum barrel fittings and uh, an aluminum fitting for the 3 8 inch ball valve that I used to fire it. And as you can also see, the air in on this one doesn't go in through the back, it goes directly to the air reservoir side of things. I also have a spring in my piston valve to automatically close it after each shot. So this one could work semi-auto if I had uh, any way of uh, loading the ammo, but this is just a single shot to breech opening barrel that's shown on this right now. This actually works quite well. Quite happy with its performance. Right now it's charging up with air. I'm going to fire it at that sprite can you can see in front of the rag backstop container in the background there. Okay, we've reached 300 PSI, and fire. Well, the Sprite can went flying, but I've recovered it, and uh, there it is. Well, I want a better hit on the Sprite can, so we'll uh, just try that again quickly. Again, we have 300 PSI. And... Well, I hit it somewhere. Let's go find it. Okay, I got it this time a much better hit. Here's another look at the works of this little cannon, showing the fill hose attached. The fill hose has two couplers and an inline valve so that I can close the fill valve, unhook the air hose, and then carry the cannon to wherever I wish to fire it. Here's a view with the breech open, showing a 360 grain lead slug, chambered and ready. Here's the last view of the fairly simple workings of this barrel ceiling piston valve cannon. Here's an overview of it and the compressor hooked up together. This cannon takes any of my interchangeable barrels. I had my 2-inch caulking tube launching barrel on it yesterday and uh, fired a tube of caulking uh, a good 200 meters across the farm field. That was impressive. Bonus footage. I didn't think I had another caulking tube around to fire, but I just found one in a corner of the shop, so I put the two-inch caulking tube launching barrel on, as you can see. I'm going to charge this thing up to 300 pounds, bring it and the camera to the shop door, and uh, fire it out over the farm field. Let's get ready and see what happens. I don't know if the video camera will get this, but 
I'm gonna try it. Uh, here goes. Well, I still don't know if the video camera picked it up uh, flying, but I have walked out into the farm field, and here is the half-full tube of caulking that I shot exactly where it landed. Now, I'm standing right here at the caulking tube where it landed, and I'll slowly zoom in to where I fired from. Now this tube had a lot of caulking in it and it was quite heavy, so I'm probably right now only about 150 meters from the uh, firing point, but that's still pretty good.